Established in 1946, the Bureau of Land Management is a subdivision of the U.S. Department of the Interior. The agency strives to sustain the health, diversity, and productivity of the public lands for the use and enjoyment of present and future generations. Most BLM land is located in the western half of the U.S. in Alaska, Arizona, California, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, New Mexico, Oregon, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. For this video, we're going to talk exclusively about BLM land in Colorado. In Colorado, the BLM manages 8.3 million acres of public land and 27 million acres of federal mineral estates. The public lands are used for recreation, energy development, conservation, resource management, livestock grazing, and more. Most of Colorado's BLM land is located on the western slope, the perfect place for hiking, camping, biking, and tons of other recreational activities. Before you plan your outing, however, you should check online to make sure where you're going is actually not private property or land that requires paid access. The official BLM website has an interactive map that will help you visualize different locations. We have linked this map in the description below. Technically, if a piece of BLM land in Colorado went up for sale, you could purchase it, but then it would be privately owned and no longer BLM land. Furthermore, due to a congressional mandate passed in 1976, the BLM rarely offers land for sale. It will only sell land if the parcel doesn't align with current land use or planning efforts. You can, however, own land that borders BLM land, which completely transforms your opportunities for enjoyment. Many people wonder if BLM land is free to camp on, and the answer varies. The BLM manages plenty of camping grounds, whether you want to park your RV at a developed campground or pitch a tent in the wilderness under the stars. The former will most likely require a reservation and a fee, while the latter is called dispersed camp and is usually free as long as you stay on the ground in the background. Most BLM land mandates that you cannot camp for longer than 14 days in a 28 consecutive day period. Overall, owning land that borders BLM land is one of the greatest opportunities for land seekers in Western Colorado. This video is brought to you by United Country Real Estate, Western Land and Lifestyle Properties, your source for all things lifestyle properties in Western Colorado. Check out some of their listings today using the link below. Thanks again and stay tuned for our next video.